morning everyone welcome to today's video so i'm thinking i'm just gonna do a really kind of casual vlog more like a day in my life or just like kind of a regular day in quarantine i did actually a week in quarantine a little while ago but we weren't in stage four here in victoria now we are in stage four which means you literally can't go out for anything so it is a little bit different because i was still going out a few times um in my last vlog but yeah this is just kind of going to be a regular day in my life in quarantine it is super weird at the moment with everything kind of going down obviously <laughs> the elephant in the room coronavirus just super weird times at the moment so I woke up pretty early this morning and I just kind of laid in bed for a few hours if I'm honest or by a few hours I mean like an hour and I haven't had breakfast but I'm actually running out of time so I just washed my face when I got out of bed and now I have to go to the chemist and then I also got an email notification that our coffee table is ready to be picked up so I'm so excited excited the shop that we got it from is actually right next to the chemist so I thought I'd just kill two birds with one stone I was gonna get it delivered but figured nah I'm there anyway so may as well so I organized a click and collect for that this morning at 10 o'clock and that is what I am going to go do now so I'm gonna rush off and do that and then when I get back I'm just gonna clean the house I just have a few things on my to-do list so I thought why not vlog <sighs> Okay, anyway, I really have to go. I'm running late, so I'm gonna go do that. I will touch base when I get back soon. I am currently filming on my phone, so just ignore the quality, but I just went out and picked up my coffee table I'm so excited it took months for this to come into stock we got it on sale in like June and it's finally come in now that it's September I'm so so happy with it can't wait to show you guys I'll be home soon and then I'll unwrap it all and we'll have a look at it so excited okay I am finally back home I have the coffee table here which I bought inside all by myself hashtag muscles um but I really want to open it now I don't know if I should wait till Ezra gets home or not because obviously so it's our coffee table but I don't know I just feel so excited nah I'm gonna open it now I'm so excited as well because if you've watched any of my previous videos you would know that we are getting a new couch soon so our couch is actually almost ready it gets made in Malaysia because it's like a custom-made couch but I'm pretty sure production has finished on it it actually has to get shipped over here from there so that's what was taking so long and I think it's going to be ready in like two, three weeks. I'm so excited to not have to sit on a two-seater with two people anymore. I feel like it isn't even a two-seater. Like it's impossible to like get comfy on. We just need more space. Anyway, I'm scared. Oh my gosh. This was in a massive box when I rocked up at the click and collect place. And the guy that was there was like, it is not going to fit in your car. So we had to take it out of the box. But it fit pretty easily after that because it's still wrapped up and protected anyway. Oh my gosh. The timber is such a beautiful color. What am I doing? Ah! Oh my goodness. Can you see that? Guys. Can you see that? Oh my goodness. How stunning. Oh my gosh. Now I have to go put all of this in the bin. Oh my goodness. Do you see how beautiful that is? I am, oh my gosh, I'm so happy with it. <sighs> that is so pretty. It's amazing. And I was so excited that we just actually have a coffee table now because I felt like this room was like missing something. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like that coffee table just kind of ties everything all together. So I am so happy. I did honestly think that it would be a little bit of a darker wood. So in our lounge room, we have the dark wood shelf and we've just got like a mix of all of these different colored woods. And this is obviously obviously quite a bit lighter but our couch is actually a really light color as well so who knows it could tie it all in really well together but I'll show you from far away because I was just standing in the kitchen before and it actually all goes really well together it looks beautiful do you see like I think it could really work I think we'll have to wait till we get our couch to 100% make sure and I think I actually want a larger rug we keep kind of switching all the rugs in our house because I'm not sure which one I want down here but I think I just want like a really really kind of big one and none of the rugs that we have are super massive so I don't know I'm gonna have to make that decision later see I just put that on it and I think it just ties everything in so well I really really like it I think it's so cute so what I'm thinking is if after we get our couch and it doesn't really go with the room or I can't make it go then I will just 
stain it a little bit of a darker color. I really like just, you know, a lot of texture and that's something that I really like about this as well is I just love like the texture to it. I think it's so beautiful. Oh, I had been searching for the perfect coffee table for forever. So I'm so happy that I found this. But yeah, I just think it looks so beautiful. Definitely goes well in this room. I'm so happy. Okay, so it's a little while later. I'm currently in the process of cleaning my kitchen, but I had to stop because I was starving. So I really, really just wanted to eat. Anyway, lately for breakfast, I've actually been having avocado and scrambled eggs on toast, which is just so good. But I actually just ran out of avocado. So this morning it was just more like whatever I could find in the cupboard and it turned out to be pasta and I had pasta for breakfast and I'm so happy. But what I wanted to show you was these homemade Reese's peanut butter cups. So we just used sugar-free chocolate. We melted it down and then we put it in a cupcake liner in a cupcake tin, put it in the freezer, waited till it hardened up a little bit. Then we used some peanut butter and there is some raspberries under there as well. And then just chocolate on the top. But yeah, super yummy snack and it's kind of healthy as well. So good. Anyway, I actually wanted to talk to you guys about a goal that I had for this week. So I am really, really trying to drink more water. Like during lockdown, it's really easy because I'm in my house. I don't know, to just be actively thinking and like be intentional about drinking water, as silly as that may sound. I honestly really cannot get much done without being fully intentional about it. Anyway, so I'm trying to drink four liters a day. And it's actually funny, that might sound like a lot, but I didn't want to go three because I really don't like odd numbers. And then I felt like two wasn't enough. So I just decided on four. On Monday, I had probably five or six liters, to be honest. I had so much and then Tuesday I had four and a half liters I reached my goal and then yesterday I actually only had like two and a half liters and I was so annoyed at myself but I was just like too busy I didn't think about it much during the day I just have to make up for it now but now I have the hiccups yay um but I was outside on Monday so that's probably why it was so easy for me to drink so much water I was outside all day but yeah actually funny story I was actually telling my sister about my goals and my friend who's studying to be a nurse and they were both like okay just don't consume it like too fast because that's a lot of water and they're like you should be fine because you're not drinking like a lot a lot but just don't drink it in like five minutes <laughs> and then I did some research and turns out you can actually die from drinking too much water how can we die from drinking too much water like <laughs> I've been trying to eat healthier and everything as well and then I got this thing come up on my tiktok for you page and it was like did you know if you eat healthy and drink all the water that you're meant to you still die and I was like, okay. But yeah, I actually noticed a massive difference in my skin. So, sorry, I felt like I was gonna like hiccup or burp, but I'm trying to like stop it. So it's like really uncomfortable. Anyway, noticed a massive difference in my skin Tuesday morning. So I started drinking lots and lots of water on Monday. And after that day where I just drank so much water, I noticed the biggest difference in my skin. So I don't know about you guys, but lockdown is kind of getting to me just in terms of like the stress that it's put on my skin. And I have had so many like blemishes up the top of my forehead and on my cheeks everywhere. I still kind of do and I'm not wearing any makeup right now so that you guys can see but within a day so much of my redness went down. I was so shocked at just like how drinking so much more water can make you feel so much better about life. Do you know what I mean? Anyway I feel like I've actually been talking about this for way too long so the sun is shining right now. It is such a beautiful day outside. Wait let me show you. So beautiful. So Oh, Betty. So I actually might open up these and sit outside for a little bit. I actually have a really bad sunburn on my back that I'm still recovering from. So I will actually use sunscreen this time. just washed all of my makeup brushes because it was something that was kind of long overdue that I had to do so I thought I would just show you guys kind of how I did it so just super easy I just use shampoo and these are all my clean brushes I'll just kind of demonstrate so obviously I've already cleaned it but <laughs> you get the idea I get a tiny little pump of shampoo on my hand and I just wet the brush with warm water and go like that until the water kind of runs clear but yeah that was definitely long overdue so I'm glad that I got that task knocked out of the way today. Now as was home I think I'm just gonna go 
make some dinner but yeah apart from that I just cleaned the house today which I'll show you guys it looks so nice in here I am so happy with how everything's kind of coming along just love that wall like <laughs> that's such a pretty wall we will have our couch soon which I'm super happy about and yeah just really love this whole area Ezra's getting ready to cook dinner <laughs> uh, but I might actually end the vlog here so I hope you guys have enjoyed watching thank you for coming along with me on my day and remember to subscribe on your way out if you're not already I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!